Hello, hello English, finally, how are you doing today? I receive many questions every day and one of the most common questions is this Max, why nobody watches my life? Why nobody watches my life? Finally, I took the courage, I go live and nobody watches. Nobody ever comes. What's wrong? So today I'm going to address this issue and I'm going to give you some tip how to improve your life so that people come and join your life. So come and join me. So you finally took the courage, you hit that go live button and now you are standing in front of the camera and you nervous, full of anticipation what's going to happen next and you realize, all of the sudden, you realize that nobody watches you. Yeah, nobody comes to join you. Why is that? Why do you think is that? So now you not only are very nervous, you're getting upset because nobody cares. So I observed many live sessions and I realized there are so many different points I want to talk about. And I want to give you like six steps how to improve your live session so that people come and enjoy your life. So please, next time when you go live, remember these six tips. Yeah, let's go over them. Okay, so number one mistake is that you are silent. When you go live, you are silent and you're not saying anything. When people come to your live stream, and see that you're not doing anything, you're not saying anything, they're not interested in watching a person who's not saying anything. They leave, they leave. So number one mistake is that you are silent. So how to fix that? People say, well, I don't know what to say. Well, okay, that's all right. We all learn and the more you do it, the more intuitive you're going to become and easier it's going to become for you. Probably you're not a good speaker. I'm not a good speaker. Um, I know a lot of people not, not good speakers and that's the reason why we go live, to practice speaking skills, to do it every day more and more and more. Because if we don't make a mistake, we're not going to improve. So number one mistake, you have to say something. So number one, tip number one is prepare some kind of short introduction about yourself. If you don't know what to say, prepare some kind of short introduction about yourself. It doesn't have to be long. Two minutes, five minutes, make it as long as you want. But the most important thing is to be talking, to be talking, yes, so next time when you go live, please make sure that you say something. Um, if you don't know what to say and you already introduce yourself, you can choose any kind of topic you like to talk about, about your hobbies, about the news that you heard, about anything. And again, the easiest way how to communicate and how to hold a conversation is to ask a question. Ask us a question. Yes, the audience, we want to interact with you. So if you ask me a question, you see that somebody is coming. Hello, where are you from? How are you doing today? I'm having a fantastic day. What's the weather in your country like? Um, um, it's, a, it's pouring down the rain. I mean, it's very hot, whatever. Be observant, observe and describe some kind of situations. It's so easy. You can talk about anything. It doesn't really matter what you talk about, but the most important thing is that you talk about something. That silence, it's a number one killer of your life. Okay, mistake number two is a posture. A posture is a body posture. I see it over and over again. You lying in the bed, almost sleeping, and it's not very appealing. 
What does it mean appealing? Not very attractive. People don't want to see people in the bed and lying down. Sit up, please sit up. If you can sit up, that would be perfect. Or stand up, stand up or sit up. That's the proper posture. Definitely, you need to do this. Because when you in the bed, lying down, you give me the message, hey, I'm so tired, I don't want to talk to anyone. Yeah? The, the body posture, the body language is telling me, hey, you tired, okay, go to sleep, go to take a rest, yeah? sleep. But if you want to talk to me, sit up and show me that you're interested in the conversation. So the posture is very important and I would advise you to stand up. That's the best way. I know it's tiring, but we are not here to rest. We are here to have a good conversation. So what do you want to do? Do you want to sleep or do you want to talk to me? Okay, so mistake number three is, I would say, a background noise. A lot of times I come to life and I observe a very noisy background music, screaming kids, um, noisy street, um, people talking in their own, own language. So it's very disturbing because I don't know what they're talking about. Are they talking about me? Are they talking badly about me? What's going on? Yes, so even if you happen to be able to talk to somebody, to connect with someone and talk to somebody, to have a conversation, there's so much background noise, whether it's, again, stream, um, a street noise, um, background music, loud music, not comfortable. I'm not talking about, you know, if you have a music, like background music down, and it gives you this kind of special theme and emotions for your life. It's good. I like it. But it can't be too distracti distracting. Distracting. Be careful. Be careful about this background noise. That's number three. It's a killer. So when you go live, make sure that it's a nice background noise no background noise and also i would like to talk about background the best way i think it's to have a clean background behind me yeah very i understand not everybody has an empty wall or um, everybody lives in different condition it's fine which is fine but i don't like when you face your camera up to the ceiling and there's like a rotating fan. It's not very appealing. I mean, it's not very attractive. I found, from my experience, I found the best way when you go live, when you go out, outside, yeah, um, to the nature and you share the environment from your country with other people. People love that, people love that because everybody lives in different places and if you can share your knowledge, your experience, um, practice speaking skills and share the environment, share your experience at the same time, people are going to love it. People are going to love you. So make sure that you have a nice background behind you. It can be in any kind of wall. If, make sure that um, if you have to show your room that it's nice and tidy and you don't have a pile of dirty clothes messing up around yeah okay so that was tip number three okay tip number four is like a shaky camera make sure that your camera is steady because if you shake your camera too fast a lot um, it's very distracting again and um, also if you don't show your face people have a difficulty relating to you. I know you're saying, hey, there's nothing. When I want to talk to someone, I don't want to show my face. No, you don't. But people are not going to watch you. Why? Because it's a normal psychological 
think, I mean, we are human beings and we want to relate to, to each other and sight is very important. This is no, not about how ugly or how beautiful you look like, not at all. This is about building the trust. If you see the person face, you're more trustful and you more much more inclined to trust that person than if you show the just fat, just blank wall. Nobody wants to talk to the blank wall, believe me. And maybe there are some people who don't mind, but majority people, and I tried it again. I went live showing a blank wall and nobody watched. Nobody watched. So I'm, I'm telling you, it's always good to show your face because you're going to build the trust. Okay, number five, people don't like you. People don't like you, why? Um, people look at you and they leave. It happened to me so many times and it still happens. Yes, it still happens. It's normal. I'm not going to be likable you know, to, um, for everyone. But the tip how to improve this is to smile. Yes, smile. Because if you give me a friendly smile, that means you message me, hey, I'm friendly, I'm your friend. It's easy and it's comfortable to talk to me. It's safe. Come and talk to me. Have a friendly chit chat. If you're sitting there, not saying anything, not smiling with background music, everybody leaves immediately. So watch out. I know it's not very, it's not easy for someone. Um, not everybody's, I mean, I don't smile a lot either, but I try from, some t from time to time, I smile. It doesn't hurt, yeah? So smile because you're going to give me a friendly message. Hey, I'm open for the communication. Point number six is that people don't know you. People don't know you yet. It's going to take some time to develop some relationships with people. And next time when you come, they, they would know, oh, all right, this is the person I know. I'm going to watch him because I share the same belief, same values, and I like him. So don't expect, when you go live for the first time, don't expect that there are going to be a lot of people watching you. No, there are not going to be a lot of people watching you because people don't know you. I remember when I went live for the first time, like six months ago, I remember nobody watched me. It took me a time, I think five, 10 lives, when finally people Came to, came to my stream and they joined me. Yeah, so first you need to take your time, take your time, don't rush it. Show the people your personality. Share some experience, tell them the stories, tell them something, I mean, describe something. Always be talking, be friendly, smile, and people are going to find the way to you, I promise. Yeah, but it's going to take some time. So mistake number six, people give up. People give up easily. They go like first time, second time, third time, and they see nobody comes to watch me. No good, doesn't work. It does work. But next time when you go live, Make sure that you follow these six steps and you take your time and it's going to happen. It's going to happen. People are going to come and join you. You're going to have a good conversation and you're going to feel fantastic. All right. So let's sum it up. I'm going to sum it up for you. When you go live, make sure that you talk and don't be silent. Make sure that you sit up or you stand up. Don't be lying in the bed. Number three, your background. Make sure that your background is nice and tidy and there's no background noise. Number four, make sure that your camera is not shaky, shaking. It's steady 
and you show your face and you smile of course right and that's number five people don't like you okay um smile because smile is magical and it's going to bring more people to your live stream and number six take your time people don't know you take your time again do it over and over again follow these tips and you're going to have a fantastic time i promise you that and i'll see you next time have a good day bye bye click here to subscribe to our english finally channel and don't forget to press the bell icon and never miss another update